Fire, one of the most useful natural phenomena in the world, but also one of the most destructive. Whoa! So, what's fire all about? There's a three-part formula to fire. It's called the fire triangle. And this is what you need. Oxygen, usually from the air, a fuel, which is basically anything that will burn, and heat to get the fuel to the temperature at which it will burst into flames. So, how can you make fire? Method one, elbow grease, and plenty of it. The friction creates heat and tiny embers of wood, which act as the initial fuel that starts the fire, eventually. And method two, flints and steel. This makes incredibly hot sparks of the steel. Hey! And once there's a flame, silver birch bark is ideal tinder because it contains a natural oil which lights up very easily. Johnny, how are you getting on? Yeah, really well, mate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, flint and steel. Look at it, excellent. The three elements of fire, fuel, heat and oxygen, are the everyday stock in trade of Sandy McClure, who has his own unique take on the fire triangle. Whoa. How, how do you do that? Basically, you just take some paraffin in your mouth um, and you need to blow it out so you get as fine a mist as possible. It tastes absolutely disgusting. Is it so, that yeah, bad? It really is that bad. Liquid paraffin doesn't burn. So, so you're making a vapour? Yeah, you kind of um, mix air in your mouth as you're blowing out. And Sandy, have you ever hurt yourself doing this? Not, not too seriously. I had the wind change and blow the flame into my face once. Uh, that burnt my lips and my face a little bit. Obviously, <laughs> lost the eyebrows for a couple of weeks. Uh, and I've had a couple of chemical burns on the gums. So one word, should children try it at home? Oh, no, definitely not. What about adults? Yeah. No, <laughs> definitely <laughs> Now we're going to find out how to burn a human. Oh, what, what are you doing there? This is about the limit of our special effects budget. Plus, we need Johnny for future shows. So, just like in Hollywood, we found ourselves a stuntman. He's Rod Woodruff, veteran human fireball. He's performed over a hundred fire stunts for TV and movies. Hi, Rod. All right, Rod. How are you doing? Nice you you How's things? Okay, guys. Yeah, good. What's this you're putting on then? Uh, well, this is the uh, undergarment to the main racing driver's suit for being on fire, and it's uh, like a one layer no mix. Yeah? Yeah, like a Kevlar base. Right, it's okay. Uh, keeps the flame from uh, penetrating right the way through. Rod, well, how long have you been doing this? I've been a professional stuntman for about 25 years now, yeah. eating quite a bit of hospital food all around the world. Have you seriously? <laughs> yeah. So well, In the early days when I. So it does go wrong? Uh, it's had its moments, yeah. I mean, in 100 fire stunts, I've had two go wrong, really. So. But just one mistake could be disastrous. So emergency medical help is always on hand in case the fire gets out of control. What sort of heat will be coming off? I mean, have you ever measured it? It's difficult to describe, really, but if you can imagine, I don't know, when you open your, your oven at home, it times that by about 50. Oh, dear. Right. This is mega high risk, so firefighting kit is essential. Uh, just drop more Montana. I've just put in a water-based gel as a preparation just before I go. That's it. It's fine. Just fire will go everywhere. It's going to go wrong. Is, that's the ears, a... up the nose. The body burn is only seconds away, so it's time for the solvent-based glue. This is your fuel. This is what you burn. This is what we're going to be setting a light with, yeah. Rod, well, do you start to get nervous now at all? Uh, I see the adrenaline just a little bit, yeah. You do? Rod, are you really going to do this? Uh, we've come this far, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> OK, rather you than me. Rob, we're going to stand back and we'll see you when you've been extinguished, OK? Good luck, mate. Yeah. All the best. Let's go. I don't believe it. It's, it's down here. Water. That's a bit of water. Wet. In the middle of the back a little bit, not a lot, a little bit. Exactly oh. in the middle of that lake. Rod, well, are you all right? Are you okay, Rod? Just two seconds. That was stunning. Oh, did it look good? Whoa! A bit of CO2, CO2 just a bit. Got some water. That's right. Yeah, okay. 
Wow, that was stunning. Absolutely when, stunning. When it, when it set off, I couldn't believe how much flame was there. I thought you'd put too much on. I really was shocked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My heart's going like a train. I thought, hold on, it's already gone wrong. Yeah, yeah, quick, <laughs> put him out. That's too much. Well, it's good to try and get that height with, with no gloves and everything. I and can feel you, it, feel it licking burnt? a bit. No, no, it feels no, cool. definitely not. I got, a, I got a bit when I turned on that bottom camera there. Did you see that? And it came up here. I don't believe it. When you started going down, I thought, hold on, this is, we've really got to put you out quickly. And it's like, no, 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 this is my flame. Do they call you Hot Rod? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that. <laughs> I don't believe it. But this is all in a day's work for a movie stuntman. Oh, oh, oh,